Hey guys and girls, what's going on? In this video, we're going to be getting the trophy Innocence for the game Entwined. Now, this is such a cool game. This is the very first trophy you'll most likely get as long as you play the story first. Now, to get to this point of the game, to start the game up, what you do is you start the game up, it will load up, and then you'll get to the menu, and you just go either start story and go to level one, or like first lifetime, or you get... Uh, you go to um, what happens is the uh, how to play and it'll go through a little tutorial how to play and it'll instantly start you off after that into this section as it did for me. So as you can see it's a bronze trophy and the details say finish the first lifetime. So that is the trophy innocence, it is 92%, 92% of people. 92.7% of people have got this trophy. It is a very common trophy uh, to get because it is the very first trophy you kind of get in the game and it doesn't take you very hard. It's not very hard, but it's, um, yeah, so yeah. So, yeah. Um, so as you can see, what we're going to be doing is going to be playing the game. It is so fun. It is really hard. Um, to get used to at start it's kind of easy because you're not doing anything very complicated you're just trying to do this but uh, once you get further along in the levels they get very very complicated and very hard because what's happening is you're controlling both of these characters one with your left joystick and one with your right analog stick so you're using your two analog sticks to control these two characters and so at the start it's not too hard because you're just um, concentrating on one at a time or you can concentrate on two but you're only doing simple things like just line them up into these little areas but once you get into the later stages of the game it gets really difficult because it gets you to do different things at different times and man that does that mess up your brain uh, trying to multitask like that um, as you can see I'm not a great multitasker uh, with this stuff but this is pretty interesting this is a pretty amazing concept and I just love this uh, this game so far it's really cool um, so as you can see what we're just going to be doing is I'm just going to be talking over this section because it's a very simple trophy to get because all you need to do is finish the first lifetime and you'll get it so it's kind of like one of those campaign trophies that you get for just playing the game um, so as long as you're going into the story you're not doing the challenge mode stuff you will definitely get this trophy straight away uh, it will be the first trophy you'll get um, and there are I think uh, nine of these trophies because there are nine levels and he, at the end of each level you get a trophy for completing the level so it's not too much to it to this trophy so as you can see we're just uh, I'm starting to not collect all of them quite as well and what happens is you need to fill up these bars so you get fill up the bars by collecting the little um, kind of orb things that you see and then if you uh, miss a section like if you miss um, like you do not go through the little area uh, defined that is when you start losing it and then as you can see that bar at the top so you have one for the, the blue guy the bird and one for the orange guy which is a fish and as you can see we just need to go through it until they get closer and closer together and then what happens is you join together and you create one creature which is a pretty interesting concept and once you get into here you, you end up in a 3d world so you start off like just in a, in a tunnel where you're just controlling uh, up and down and stuff but now you're in a 3D world where you have to fly around. So once you're in this area what you do is you go and collect all these little stone things again and it'll fill up the bar and as you can see it's green because you're together so orange or blue becomes green if you didn't know that. Um, and as you can see once you do that now all you need to do is release um, the bar kind of thing and just fly around there is just no purpose to this it's just what you have to do um, so as you can see I'm just flying around thinking where are all the rest of those things I want to collect the rest of those things but they disappear as soon as you um, uh, fill up the bar and start using it so as you can see once you have used it all then what will happen is it will unlock the end of the level it will kind of open up a portal that you can fly through and that is what you need to do and then you'll end the level and you will get this trophy so as you can see we're just going to go fly into the portal I did find controlling this guy uh, a little bit difficult because uh, like the up and down motion is very easy to use but then it takes a long time for it to recognize like side to side motions um, that's just me personally and then as you can see once we've done that it will give us the trophy innocence and that is all you have to do it's a very simple trophy to get and it is a very cool game and so um, that's all I'm going to really say so thank you guys for watching hope you've enjoyed it hopefully you guys get hopefully you guys will get this trophy and now it's time for me to say see you guys and girls Thank you.